Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I will have another episode of Easy Cooking video and I'll talk about how to cook kale in 10 minutes. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If that is something you are interested in, please visit for more. If you're only interested in cooking videos, there'll be links in the description box below. So today I'm going to show you how to cook kale, uh, which is a very good food and a super food. And I have uh, my uh, grocery shopping right here. So I'm going to take them out one by one. So the ingredients are very simple. So the first thing I have is uh, obviously the kale, which we have right here. And then I have one onion and uh, the last thing I have is a red pepper, but you don't have to actually use the red pepper. I'll be just using for kind of decoration purposes. But you only need uh, kale, onion. These are the main two ingredients. And then you need some other small ingredients, which I'm going to show you uh, very soon. And so let's just, you know, wash the kale and then cut the onion and gather the other ingredients you need. And then, you know, I will start the cooking uh, in here. So I have all my ingredients ready right here and I'm just going to go over them quickly. So the two basic main ingredients are kale and then we have uh, the onions and then uh, in order uh, to you know make it tastier you can use uh, a bit of uh, turmeric and then I have uh, salt and then I have uh, red pepper and I have a little bit black pepper and then we have uh, red pepper right here which is uh, just for decoration purposes but you don't have to actually use uh, the red pepper and the uh, obvious olive oil uh, if you have extra virgin olive oil that would be best but if you not then any olive oil would do so in terms of quantity I have here about two uh, teaspoon of turmeric or turmeric and then uh, one uh, half teaspoon of uh, red pepper right here and even quarter teaspoon of uh, black pepper and then I would say about uh, slightly lesser than one teaspoon of salt now you don't have to use actually turmeric you can just even cook kale with onion and black pepper salt uh, but you know I always add turmeric for everything I cook uh, it's a very healthy spice and it's one of the best spices you can have so I really like it and then it gives you know lots, lots of taste and it's very like you know are healthy and then uh, in terms of onion although I cut the whole onion but I'm going to be using only about half of it and then uh, that's how we're going to start cooking and then you know let's uh, start the cooking and I'm targeting to finish everything in 10 minutes uh, from after the preparation so you can uh, actually cook uh, kale in 10 minutes and this is one of the best uh, superfoods out there and this is a very well healthy food which i attempt to eat every, at least once a week or once uh, a few times every other weeks so let's start and then we'll you know see how it comes out so just before start i would like to mention that you have the option to use a non-stick uh, pan or you can just use a regular stainless steel cookware uh, for today's demonstration i'm going to use a uh, non-stick because it's going to make it faster so I'm just going to remove the uh, stainless steel cookware right here. So I preheated the uh, pan a little bit and I'm going to start with the oil. So I never actually measure oil. So I just like, you know, put it uh, according to my common sense. And this is not uh, difficult. You have to just like, you know, make sure that you're not putting too much or not putting too little. And that should, okay. That should be okay but if you would like to absolutely know the measurement then i would say about two tablespoon or one and a half tablespoon should be good enough so i'm just going to set it aside here and then uh, the oil should be good to go so i'm just going to you know put some onion first and i'm going to just put about half of the whole onion uh, I don't need a lot of onion uh, because you know this is just a vegetable so you don't have to actually use a lot of onions and I'm just going to increase the heat a little bit 
once it gets warms up a little bit then I'm just going to start putting uh, the spices and then after that I would like you know leave it uh, to mix the spices with onions uh, about one minute and then I'm going to start putting in uh, kale and then at the end uh, the red pepper but uh, again the red pepper is just optional So I'm going to be turning on the ventilation fan just for uh, just in a low heat so I'm in a low speed so it doesn't get you know it doesn't turn on the uh, fire alarm so you can see that you know this is coming very good here and you can hear the cooking uh, sound the sizzling sound of the onion uh, cooking in uh, oil and I can I smart started to get the smell which I really like the onion, onion smell when you just put an onion so right now I'm going to just you know start putting in uh, the spices and the first thing I'm going to be doing is just the turmeric and then I'm going to be putting the little bit of red pepper and black pepper and I'm just going to put salt and so I put everything in here and I'm just going to you know take a few more seconds to mix them together and then I'm going to be just putting in kale in here so you can see it's kind of getting uh, you know dry which is okay because we have water inside kale so ideally uh, really don't need to put in a lot of water and once I put in kale I'm going to have to cover it if it's like in a spatter too much uh, water outside and I'm just going to wait here a few more seconds so the onions when the onion turns a little brown not too much then I'm just going to start putting in the kale uh, in here And you can see the, the slightly a uh, little bit of smoke because it's a little bit dry, uh, which is okay. But if you think that you know, it's uh, started to burn, then you can just add a little bit of uh, water. But right now, I'm just going to be putting in the kale. And I'm just going to cover it for a few minutes. So I forgot to take the a big cover, but this should be okay for now. And we'll just wait a few minutes, and then we'll wait the uh, add the pepper. We passed another five minutes and I'm going to just you know uh, take a look how it looks like so you can see that the kale is coming a very nice uh, green color so one thing about kale that is that uh, you know when you cook it gets really small so although the kale looked a big kale at first but you know after finishing cooking it's gonna be very tiny so right now it looks like it's you know very nice green color and it's in green shape uh, so I'm just going to add the uh, red pepper and then uh, I, will, I would wait another like you know uh, three four minutes and then we'll just uh, you know turn off the stove and then I'm going to show you the final product so I'll just uh, leave this on and then the next uh, time I'll just add the final product once I finish the uh, cooking so basically that's all you have to do and here I'm just going to cover this up and wait another uh, I would say about three minutes but I'm going to turn off the camera from here and so this is our final product and you can see that you know the kale looks very dark green right now and then the pepper is done and then we have uh, the leftover onion which I didn't use 
So just a few things to mention about kale is that you can buy kale frozen or you can buy kale uh, cut in pieces uh, and washed. You don't have to even, you know, wash it. And uh, usually when I cook uh, kale, I cut it into more smaller pieces. But uh, just to show you guys, uh, you know, I didn't cut a lot this time. Uh, just to show how it uh, came out. And then uh, another thing about kale is that you have to, you know, wash it very good because it attracts uh, lots of soil. So if you don't wash it good, then, you know, definitely you're going to, you know, get the soil when you uh, are eating it. So you can also avoid that if you buy frozen or uh, cut kale because those are washed, you know, in machines and definitely machines, uh, you know, wash much better than a human. So that's how you can cook, uh, cook kale in 10 to 15 minutes. If you're using a non-stick, you can uh, basically cook in 10, 15 minutes. Uh, if you're using a stainless steel cooker, then I'd say, uh, you know, give it like 20 to 25 minutes. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, there'll be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.